viewers and friends out there, it's Mr. Lee Ninus. I hope you're doing well. And I have with me today, this is the SOF Chopper. The Sniper Blade Works SOF Chopper made by Condor Tool and Knife. And if you haven't seen the two-part review I've done this knife, please check it out. I'll have the links to those in the description box. Now, something I mentioned about this knife in the review is I thought the uh, blade grind, um, especially on the edge, was a bit uh, deep, a bit thick, a bit heavy. So what I did is I actually lightened the grind up on the edge with just a belt sander. And I didn't I take any video of that because it, uh, it was kind of just a, a trial process for me. It's not something I usually do. But all I did was I just smoothed out the edge, almost, uh, I would say, seven-eighths of the cutting edge here. And I created a what uh, you're going to call a convex type edge, but I didn't get the tip here. What I did is I just taped off the tip. I wanted to leave it as thick as possible because I wanted uh, more weight in the tip for chopping and also I want it nice and big and beefy and thick for uh, um, things such like as uh, digging and prying if I have to do that with this knife. But I basically just thinned then smoothed this edge out and made it not quite so deep, lightened it up, and what I'm doing today in this video is I'm just going to do a little bit of testing with this knife on a, a couple of uh, wood processing techniques here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up some uh, fresh live wood, then I'm going to uh, chop some dead wood, and then I'm going to do just a little bit of batoning and check out the performance of this knife. Now I did a little bit of testing with it the other day, and it seemed like it did upgrade the knife. The performance was better, but I just want to go ahead and get it on camera and uh, see how it works. So let's check it out. So I'm going to start with the live wood here. It's a pretty thin piece. I'm going to just work my way down on the thicker end and see how the SOF chopper performs. Okay, pretty good. Nice. Really liking it so far. All right, pretty impressive on the live wood. Now I've got a pretty hefty piece of dried piece out, of, uh, I believe, oak. So let's check this out. Okay, pretty impressive. I'm digging it so far. I'm digging it. All right, it's a pretty, pretty hefty chunk here. Let's check it out. Okay, well that's interesting. Looks like I cracked that one up. Okay, so now for the batoning. Pretty hefty piece of wood I got here, but I would say the knife is performing extremely well at this point. Wow, okay. Give it one more shot. Okay, wow, all right, there you have it. Uh. All right guys, well I have to say that uh, convexing the edge, that portion of the blade, the majority of the blade, seven eighths of the blade, my opinion, really improved the capabilities of this knife. Because I was pretty happy with it beforehand, but I thought it could do a little better on the dead wood, maybe a little better on uh, some of the chopping power 
And I gotta say, I think it really passed in my book. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you haven't seen my full review of this knife, please check them out. Two part video. I do a testing section video, and then I do the discussion and I talk about the specifications and my thoughts on the knife in the second part. So please check it out. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. If you can comment, I'd love to read and respond. Also, subscribe to the channel. It helps me continue what I do. Thank you and have a good one.